is up everybody? Cutco Mike here. We are going to unbox the Cutco 5-ply premium cookware. So we just gave away over $20,000 for our purple, uh, what we call is the Willy Wonka giveaway. And I just had all of my brand new cookware arrive right in time for State Fair. We're going to be leaving Iowa here. Let me get behind some of this stuff and uh, really kind of dive into how amazing this stuff is. So, uh, as you know, as you might know, Cutco is famous for its knife sets, right? It is absolutely famous for its knife sets. But the cookware line that's been made at West Bend Regalware in Wisconsin has been around for over a hundred years. So it's actually more old than the Cutco knives. So I'm going to walk you through. This might be a little long-winded, but maybe you've uh, ordered cookware before, maybe you've been thinking about cookware, maybe you never even thought about cookware, and uh, something in this video might inspire you. So a couple essential things that you're gonna want, and uh, what's cool is when you order Cutco from me, I send you all this stuff if you order cookware. Barkeeper's friend, that is the greatest little powder cleaner ever. Unfortunately, these are discontinued, but once in a while I score about 10 or 20 of them. I have about 10 left for all my state fair cookware sets. It is called the Pot Scrubber. This thing's pretty epic and pretty awesome. Let me see if I can get some more lights on it here. And then, this is a new toy. If you don't know, I sell Norwex too. This is one of my favorite little uh, things from Norwex. It's a little brush. So anybody who buys a full set of cookware from me, I've been starting to send these out. These are awesome. You can also buy it yourself for 25 bucks. So that's your kind of cookware care kit. So if you're ever like, Mike, how do you clean stainless steel? How do you clean these pans? You literally pour water on the pan. You can pour it on it when it's hot. You can pour it on it when it's cold. And you take a little bit of scrubbers, whether it's this one or the new Norwex. And then if there's any stainage or any leftover burnt char or whatever browning or rub, pour that on there and it comes back to brand new. All right, so that's your cookware care kit. A couple other essentials that we'll start off with is what we call as our Cutco utensils. So if you don't know this, everything with Cutco's name on it is guaranteed forever. So if it says Cutco anywhere on it, it's guaranteed forever and 99.9% .9 of the time, it'll be a USA made product. So anything with knife, steel, knife edge, that's 100% American made. And there's a few things that are what we call as globally sourced, which means it's basically assembled and made in America, engineered and guaranteed in America. But there's a few parts and pieces um, that unfortunately are not 100% American made. But 99% of our products, you can count on it'll be American made and it'll be the best of the best. So this right here is what we call as a forever tool set. So if you don't have these or if you know about these, you know how amazing they are. So the Forever Tool Set, we have doubles of every single one of these because these, in my opinion, are what makes Cutco's cookware the best. Um, there's a few other reasons, as I'll explain the pans that make it the best. These will actually sit on the lip of the pan, but you have your spatula there. The spatula will be great for burgers, pancakes, cleaning the pan. You can actually use it to scrub and clean the pan. This little funky thing is what we call a whisk. So it's got a 12 points of contact and you can bend it around here. A lot of people never knew about that. They've had it for years. So anytime you're doing your pancake batter, you're doing your sauces, any of your stocks, your, um, you know, any of your uh, sauces, um, uh, what else am I trying to think about here? Batters and um, yeah, just eggs, omelets, use that right there. And this is one of my favorite ones here. We do corn almost for every party. We do green beans for every party. It's a slotted spoon. And if you're like, Mike, I, I'm happy with my pans. Well, hopefully after this video, you might realize that you're not happy with your pans. But if you're happy with your pans, you can still use these on all stainless steel pans. You can use these on cast iron pans. You can use them on coated pans. You just don't want to be gouging into them and kind of scraping into them because there's no sharp edges. So you're, you know, I'll, I'll use these on coated pans. I just won't be scraping and, and kind of scratching at it. But yeah, guys, this set right here, um, when I sell a set of cookware, I usually include it or bundle it into the package deal somehow, some way, because these are my favorite, favorite, favorite things. So that's what we call the five piece tool set. And I still probably need to buy a potato masher because I guess I forgot to buy that. And then what we have is what we call as the add on part of the tool set. And these are the bacon serve tools. 
So guys, there's nothing more exciting than opening up Cutco for the first time or the second time. And it's funny because I have so many people reach out to me like, Mike, I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna give my kids my old stuff or I'm gonna take my old stuff to the camper, to the cottage or to the lake house or to the cabin or the Florida house. And I'm gonna go with all pearl or I'm gonna go with all classic or all red. One of my favorite tools ever created. And a few of you who've had some recent passings, whether it's a spouse or a family member, I love to do this. And I, I can't uh, read everybody's Facebook at every time, but once in a while I'll see an obituary pop up and sometimes they're tragic. Sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's kind of coming, right? And we know that somebody's in a past to a, an illness or cancer, but I'll actually have this engraved in memory of and the person's name and I'll put their years. And I will say this is gonna last a hot, heck of a lot longer than flowers, chocolates, you know, money donated. And I love this tool. I love it for serving, but I love it for scraping. You know, I use this on my griddle, my fry pan. So if you really want the full set of tools, you either tell me and say, Mike, I want the full set, or you end up adding these little extra. Anytime uh, fall comes around, Rachel's all about the um, the pies, right? We got the apple pies. The only thing about this one, I wish they made a plastic sheath because that one does have a sharp edge. So you do want to be careful with that one there. And then I learned a little bit about this not too long ago from a few of my baking clients. This is the professional spatula. Um, and this is really great to get that perfect measure, right, on a measuring cup, or you can obviously use it to get in uh, ice cakes or getting in the bottom of those deep jars of peanut butter and mayonnaise. So once you get them all in there, it's kind of packed pretty tight. So sometimes people have two of those, but that's what we call is the Cut Go Forever tool set. And those are also sold separately or individually, and sometimes people have two or three of these blocks. I know a few of you watching have multiple of these blocks. I've even had these blocks where I put my pens in, I'll put my scissors in, I'll put my gadgets in. So those are the essential starter pieces there, right? We got our barkeepers, we got our Norwex products, and then uh, let's start opening up some of these boxes. So we're gonna start off with the non-stick. So a few years ago, Cutco did market research and they found out that over 60% of people still buy and use a non-stick fry pan. So Cutco cookware is all gonna be non-stick if you use it the proper way, right? But when you think of the word nonstick, you think of something that's got the coating on it, right? So Cutco went to Regalware. Regalware is who makes our cookware. They're in West Bend, Wisconsin. Um, they make about 10 different private labels. They make Salad Master, Lifetime. There's a few others I'm sure uh, I'm forgetting about. Luster Craft was another brand. But Cutco said, hey, could you make us a private label coated pan that's gonna be the best in the market, best on the planet, that's gonna last, it's gonna be basically cancer, chemical free, and they came out with these a few years ago, and many of you have bought these and you tell me how much you love them, Rachel loves them, and we've used the stainless stuff for years, but here's what I tell people. These are gonna be your quick fire pans, your breakfast pans, anybody can use pans. You just wanna be very careful with these because if you use like a fork or a knife on there, you can gouge it. it takes a really lot to gouge it, but these are gonna be what we call the American Kitchen Elite. So this is actually a five ply. So American Kitchen Elite is a private label company out of West Bend, but they only make a three ply that you can find online. So the five ply, that's exclusive for Cutco. What I like about it, it's got a nice stay cool handle, super easy to use. And we'll use these for like a nice little uh, case that Lincoln loves cheese quesadillas. I'll make a one or two egg omelet on here. And the nice thing about this is medium heat, you put it on medium heat for 90 seconds. I always throw a little bit of butter down for browning and that thing will be ready to go. Um, so you're gonna get three. So I'm, I'm gonna basically explain what we call is the full platinum set. This is a set that I created. It's not online, it's not sold on Cutco's website, it's not in any of our catalogs. It's basically everything cookware related. So it's all the tools, it's all the non-stick, and um, it's all the stainless. And I'll explain why you want the stainless here in a little bit. So the next one here is gonna be the 10 inch. So you start off with the eight inch. The 10 inch is gonna be the workhorse. The workhorse is kind of like that trimmer. You know, the trimmer is the knife you're gonna use the most, right? Or maybe the cheese knife or the Santoku. But you can just see right off the bat, you got an eight inch and then you got a 10 inch. This is the one where you can fit probably two nice size steaks on. 
You can use this for a kind of two or three egg omelet. You can use this for, you know, four eggs sunny side up. But yeah, this is gonna be what we call as the coated pans. These do not have a forever guarantee. They have what we call a lifetime manufacturer's warranty. And I've sold probably 500 to 1,000 of those pans since they came out. I've only had to help about three people get them replaced. And Cutco just wants to see how the bottom looks. So if it's completely black, that means you've been basically cooking on high heat. And they just wanna make sure you weren't using like knives or forks on there. But a few people, some weird things happen where they left it on the burner and it started to peel on the side, but we got that replaced. So sometimes, you know, accidents happen, but anything from bubbling to peeling to warping, which is very rare, that's all covered under those, what we call as the American Elite Cutco 5-ply, Cutco Partnership 5-ply. And then this is the one I've been using actually quite a bit as of recent, because this one here is kind of like the the big bad boy, right? Or the Sunday morning breakfast size one. So this is the 12 inch here. So the 12 inch is gonna be the big boy. And I love my, my, like, I love my steaks. I like a nice New York strip. And I'll tell you why I want the stainless first, but once in a while, if I'm gonna fire up something or like a big thing of green beans and I'll throw bacon on there, I'll throw bourbon on there. So you see, those are the only coated ones we sell. We have an eight inch, a 10 inch and a 12 inch. And obviously with fry pans, you know, you can just see, I'm gonna show you kind of behind the scenes here, cut the mic. Um, we don't have our mats out because Car Car likes taking her little scooter around. Um, but, you know, I have, you know, one's in the wash, but I actually have three of those 10 inches because I just love it. I got the big bad boy, I have all the stainless because to me, you gotta have all the right tools, right? You know, we have a tool chest, we have multiple pairs of shoes, we have Apple phones, Apple iPads, Apple MacBooks, Apple watches, but then we have two, two pans that are crappy, right? So, hey, if you're spending all that money on all that kind of stuff, buy the good stuff. All right, so that's gonna be a start of it. So these you can buy by themselves, they're like 520 for all three and they're worth every penny. But what happens is once you get those, you get hooked, you get addicted. And then you go, how do I cook my noodles? You know, how do I cook my veggies? How do I cook my stews? How do I cook my chilies? So we're gonna dive into, actually we'll go with the big bat, we'll go with the big box first. This is the big bad boys here. This is about a $3,000 box and it's only like three pieces. If you can guess what it is, it's gonna be the 10 quart, it's gonna be the wok, it's gonna be the griddle. And um, what's cool is all these have their value. So this is gonna be the 11 inch square griddle and um, if you're coming to see me at Iowa State Fair at Threshers, or if you're coming to see me at a Kansas State Fair, or maybe you're going to wait to the mall or whatever, um, reach out because there is a pretty cool special. I won't have a whole lot of time to dive into it um, today, but there's a really cool thing that Regal Wear and Cutco are doing for anybody who buys a full set of pans. So this right here, before the coated pans, this was my pancake pan. This was the pan that burned down my kitchen a few uh, winters ago. Maybe some of you were watching this. I had four burgers, so I started off with four burgers and I threw four pieces of bacon and then I threw four onions on top of the burger. So we had grease going on grease. Rachel was making cocoa balls. The kids were going crazy. And I did the stupidest thing ever. I tried to take the grease on here, pour it into a mason jar because we saved that grease for the dogs. And I basically erupted into flames. Luckily. We got the flames under control and the pan was black, but we were able to clean it with the scrubber and the barkeeper's friend. I'll try to post a picture or someone go back in the group and bring that up to uh, the top. But this thing here, I call this my Euro griddle. Like I love those Euro kits that you buy at Sam's or Costco. I'll fire up that Euro lamb meat. I'll throw my pitas on there. But this is gonna be my burger kind of workhorse. I will say you can do pancakes on it, but you wanna have about a, a half a stick to a stick of butter ready because on the stainless, they are nonstick, but you have to preheat the pan for a minute or two to get those coils kind of warmed up. So Cutco has five layers of metal. So you have a, a stainless T304, that's the surgical grade, that's what the sur you know surgical rooms have, that's the, the safest, the cleanest. I know Tammy's watching this here, but a lot of people that have health um, conditions or their celiac or their, I'm losing, I'm losing my train of thought here, but dietary restrictions. They cannot have certain things and certain chemicals and certain materials touch their food, right? Or they can get really, really sick or really, really ill. So these are basically the safest on the, on the world, in the planet, you know? 
And if you believe in outer space and all that, these are what they use in heaven, okay? Um, so these are the ones that when, you, when we say they're nonstick, you put it on the, the heater on medium heat and you let it warm up. Just like when you go in the shower, you turn on the shower for a minute or two and you let it warm up. So you let the pan warm up, you throw a little butter down, let the butter kind of dance and melt. And then you'll throw your pancake batter down or you'll throw your burgers down or you'll throw your bacon down. But you're not gonna throw food on a cold pan, right? Or you don't wanna crank it on high heat because these have five layers of metal. It's gonna be cooking so fast that you're gonna burn your house down, right? So medium heat, medium heat is all you need. Medium to low is all you need to know. And uh, what's cool is once you get these metal tools, you can use those metal tools on here and you don't have to worry. See, a lot of people go, Mike, I'm not gonna buy those pans because I'm gonna burn the shit out. You know, part of my French, I'm gonna burn the shit out of them because they bought cheap stainless steel pans when they were in college from Walmart and stainless steel does not conduct the heat. Let alone put a, you know, you could barely put a magnet on a, a stainless steel fridge. But with these, there's five layers of metal. So you have stainless, aluminum, 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 stainless. So the aluminum, if you remember from science fair, we got Dookie. Say hi. Hi. And Dookie's buddy, what's his name, Buster? We went to David and Buster's yesterday. Do you, do you like Daddy's pancakes? Where? He's hungry. Um, but that's Dookie. He had his kindergarten night tonight. So um, what else do you use the griddle for? Feel free to comment. Feel free to post. But I, I mostly use that now for my bacon, my burgers, my euros. If it's going to be pancakes with the coated ones, they're just about three times easier. But if Rachel goes, I want those super buttery, delicious, golden brown pancakes, I'll do it on the, the griddle. So that's going to be kind of like your breakfast, quick fire, used for a lot of different things. All right, Dookie, you got to go upstairs, baby. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Well, Danny's doing a video. All right, so now let's see what we got here. We got some of the bigger boys. So you can buy all these individually, but when it comes to deals, when Cutco sells a set like this, it's already kind of ready to go, ready to ship, um, unless it's COVID where there was like an eight week delay. Um, this is where, oh, and here's what's cool. It's like a lot of these little kits will come with this little barkeeper's friend, and then they'll come with this little cookware guide that'll actually show you all the different things about how the temperature cooks all the way through. And here's what I've learned. Most people, they nuke their food, okay? They nuke their food where they throw it in the microwave. A microwave was never designed to cook on. It was designed to reheat. And I don't even like reheating stuff. Go up, Duke. Um, so the microwave was designed to not cook, but we get used to firing up veggies in there. We get used to cooking our TV dinners in there, but you're actually nu nuking and zapping all the, all the nutritional value. And then if you boil your vegetables, on a pot, in a pot, on the oven, you're taking all the nutrients and you're pouring that down the drain. So with this cookware, it cooks like an oven. You know, we love the oven to roast, we love the oven to bake, but sometimes we don't wanna fire up the oven at 400 and heat up the house. We just wanna eat, right? So the cookware kinda of cooks like an oven, right? But on top of your oven. So that's why you can make a cake in there. You could do some epic things like make a pizza in there. Here's the big bad boy here, what I call is the the culture pan, this is the Asian pan, this is the Italian pan, this is the stir fry pan. This is a seven and a half quart wok. And the cool thing about this wok, it's got a nice high dome to it. It's got two handles here, but it's got a flat bottom. So the flat bottom is key, right? So you have a flat bottom there, you can see it. So that flat bottom will sit flat on your stove. It will not warp, it will not wobble, right? And then you put this lid on here, it'll actually start cooking like a pressure cooker, like a oven, right? So when that lid is on there, what happens is all the temperature is cooking from the sides and top down. So all you need is medium to low. Medium to low is all you need to know. So what could you use this for? Well, you can do a lot of things in here. I've done chili in here because I can fit more chili in here than my six quart. Uh, Rachel's done Rice Krispie Treats. Be prepared for the kids to go crazy and uh, marshmallows everywhere. But you can make Rice Krispie Treats in here with just butter and some Rice Krispie cereal and then marshmallows and a little food dye. You can make fettuccine in here. You can do corn in here. And obviously, if you love your Asian cultured food, you can do all your stir fries. You get your eggs going in there. You get some rice going in there. You get your uh, uh, steamed veggies here. And then you mix it all together at the end. 
And obviously you can do all kinds of different noodles and stir fry dishes. But the main thing is this thing here is for somebody who loves going to China King, loves going to Panda Express, loves going to PF Chang's. But instead of spending all that money, you just do it at home. Or what we like to do sometimes, do. you got to go to bed, buddy. We'll call this the all these little trick. You buy these for $1.29, frozen veggies. And I have a Blackstone, I have a Traeger. And you put those right in the pan, medium heat, you put the lid on, and then you're gonna be eating dinner in 10 minutes because the way it cooks like a pressure cooker. Dude, could you please go upstairs? I have it. Yeah. All right. Good Mom. Yes, love you. All right, so that's your walk. So that one right there, just alone by itself. So here's what I tell people. So this is a bread knife right here, okay? This knife is 136 bucks, worth every penny, right? You know how great Cutco is. But everything's priced off of materials, labor, and the, the contents that go into it. You think there's a little bit more metal in this big pot than this little bread slicer? And this is worth it at 136, but when people sometimes see and hear the prices of our pans, they have a mild Cutco cookware heart attack. But look at how much more metal is in this big pot. So this pot's about 700 bucks, worth every penny, because if you use it for the next 30 years, you'll never have to buy another pot. You never have to buy another pan. It's the same thing with the Cutco knives, right? You buy it once, you fry once, and then you're done. All right, so the next one here is gonna be what we call is the 10 quart. So the 10 quart is a really nice one. I know I got a lot of my farmers I'm gonna be seeing here uh, the next few days, next few weeks, but we call this your canning pan, your canning pot, right? Your, uh, your chili pot, your family size, use it and serve a ton of guest pot. So sometimes you get that pot where it's like a five quart or a six quart and it's starting to fill up and go over the edges. This is where you pull this bad boy out, okay? This bad boy is a really beautiful piece. It's a 10 quart. And this 10 quart, will cook. I, I did a video on Amish popcorn. So some of you still comment and reach out and say, can I make normal popcorn in there? Yeah. So we buy that Amish popcorn once in a while at the uh, little farmer's markets. But this is the 10 quart. You got two nice handles here. But remember, think of like a pressure cooker. Think of like, you know, your little ninja, you know, your crock pot. You know, think of your, um, what's that thing? Instapot, right? Um, but you have it on your stove, right? Old fashioned style, get your kids in the kitchen, get their hands dirty, get them cooking, get spaghetti sauce everywhere. But yeah, these are five ply, designed to last a lifetime. Um, this, this is the big boy. This is the one you're gonna do your chili in, your soups in, your stir fries in. I get this call every time after the fair, because we're gonna sell 10 to 20 of these sets at the fairs. Um, somebody's cooking chili, right? We got fall coming up, you're canning. And I get these calls from the farmers. Some of them never met me except the first time. And then they spend five, six, seven, eight grand with me. And they go, I can't eat my food. My lid is sealed shut. Mike, what the hell did you sell me? And, and most of the time they're pretty nice. But once in a while I get an angry farmer who's hungry. So what happens is when you leave that lid on there and you turn your heat off or turn it on simmer or low for a while, all those juices and all that flavor and all that moisture is gonna basically lock itself shut in that pan. So you're gonna retain all the flavor, you're gonna retain all the juice, all the moisture, all the, all the good stuff. But what'll happen is that lid, you can't get off. And maybe you've been a part of this, what I call the sealed lid club. And you're trying to get it off and you're strong and you're like, what the hell is going on? You even tried to pry with the knife. Don't ever do that, that's the worst way to do it. Maybe you've tried to drill it. Maybe you tried to shake it. But here's what happens. Once it kind of cools down, it's basically locking in the temperature because it knows, this pan's smart, it knows that it wants to hold that temperature so when you are ready to eat, it's still good and warm and flavorful. So what you'll have to do if you let your pans slowly cook, there's two little hacks. Hack one is you keep your little spoon on the lip there and now you have a little seal right there where there's a little bit of a seal. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. So now you have a little bit of seal, so now it'll never seal shut. Or you kind of put it a little bit on the side like that. Or they make these little silicone things. A few people have sent me the link on Amazon where you can put it in there like that. Or um, the other option is um, you just pour a little bit of water around the rim and then you have to heat the temperature back up to medium 
and then it'll get that moisture and steam going on and then you'll have to kind of twist it and then it'll pop itself off. But maybe you've been a part of that before and uh, if you have, you know that it's not, it's not fun. All right, so now we're gonna start opening up some of the other pans here. So those pieces make up what we call as the legacy platinum pieces. Those are all the big boys, big girls, whatever you wanna call it, the best sellers, all the fun ones. That's like the veggie knife, the salmon knife, the boning knife. It's all the pieces that don't come in the original sets, but those are the pieces that you're gonna need. All right, so now let's kind of make our way down. I might have to move some of this stuff. All right, how are we doing? Any questions? I'll get back to the comments at some point. But guys, we got all the pans here. We're gonna kind of show you everything. We're gonna have these on full display at our next three big events. All right, so the first one here is what we call the little kettle. So I do a lot of shows where there's Amish and Mennonites. It's kind of fun. They call them kettles, right? Do you call your pots kettles or do you call them pots or do you call them pans? But this right here, um, I believe this is the one quart, okay? So this is a nice little size right here. This is when you got a little side of beans, right? You're doing taco night, you wanna warm up some black beans. You got a side of marinara, you wanna dip your toasted ravioli in. You wanna just warm up something. You know, maybe just do some hot chocolate, warm up some milk for the kids. This is just a little perfect size. They call it, I think, a one and a half quart. I, I think it's a one quart. I've never really found out officially, but it's basically a one, one and a half quart. It's the smallest little pot or kettle that we make. And uh, this is the little one. That's the one you're gonna warm up stuff. You're gonna make um, you know, a, a single or a, a, a husband and wife serving, right? Maybe it's just you and your spouse, your empty nesters. You wanna put uh, a little cup or two of rice in there. You'll be able to do that, okay? And then um, the next one here is gonna be, I believe, the two quart. So the two quart is gonna be a little bit more deeper, right? So the two quart is gonna be the one that, actually this is gonna be, this is gonna be the nine inch skillet. So this is actually, there's two skillets we make. So there's a nine inch skillet and then there's an 11 inch skillet. So this one I actually was at Fonz's house two summers ago for the state fair and we bought four filet mignons and this is the only pan he had in his, in his apartment loft. I fit four filet mignons, there are about eight ounces in there, and uh, we cooked them to perfection. So this is your um, nine inch skillet. If you got one or two chicken breasts, and you can take frozen chicken breasts from the deep freezer, you put it in, put the lid on, after six minutes, one side will be fully seared. It'll have enough juice in there where you can just flip it to the other side, put the lid back on, six minutes later, you're at 12 minutes now. You cut it in half if you wanna be safe the first time just to make sure it cooks all the way through. And then another six minutes, you're gonna be eating chicken in 18 minutes or so, 15 to 18 minutes, medium heat, right out of the deep freezer. You forget to thaw it out. If you don't, if you don't forget to thaw it out, is this normal? Um, you can cook chicken in about 12 minutes or less depending on how thick it is, right? Some of these chicken breasts we get from Walmart now or wherever you shop are jumbo, right? They're super thick. You need to use that filet knife to kind of all right, so what else we got in here? So now, I guess this box has a little bit of everything. So these pieces actually make up um, some of our, we have like kind of four sets of cookware. We always start and show you the biggest and the best. That's called the platinum. That's the way to do it if you just want to get the bang for your buck, get everything. Then we have what we call as a legacy set. Then we have a family set and then an empty nest or dedicated set. So this is your 12 inch um, all stainless, so all the stainless, you're just gonna wanna put on medium heat, throw a little bit of oil or butter down or spray down, and after a few minutes, you just add a little bit of oil or butter if you're cooking steak or you're cooking burgers. And um, if, the fl if the food has its own juices, you don't need a ton of butter and, and oil, if, unless you're like me, you like that flavor, you like that browning. But if it's got no juices, like if it's eggs or pancakes, you're gonna need a spray or an oil to keep that going. And Duke's back down. So Duke is hungry. I'm just here to get 
All right, tell Lincoln I'll be up in about 10. We're just finishing up, okay? All right, so we got the final box here, and this is gonna be all the final pieces of the collection here. And guys, if you get cookware from me, half the fun is just opening it up, having a fun time with your family and kids. You get rid of all the old stuff. I always say, um, upgrade by um, donating all your old stuff and just getting one good set. One good set that lasts forever. And here's what's cool about buying it from me. I'm gonna give you all the tricks. I'm gonna give you all the tips. I have the whole learning curve. I've been doing this for 20 years. We've been using these pans for at least 15. You know, the first few years of my career, I was more of a Jack's Pizza guy, but you know, I had to win Rachel over. I had to start cooking her good meals. So this is the six quart. And um, we're gonna flip that lid inside out just to kind of show you here. So you're gonna see here, we have the 10 quart and the six quart. So you can kind of see there's obviously a deeper depth to it. But the six quart is the one that comes in all the beginner sets. That's a 6.3 quart. That's the one you can do pretty much most of your chilies, most of your veggies. One of my favorite things to do is load this up with corn, load it up with asparagus, load it up with broccoli, load it up with red peppers, whatever your favorite veggies are. Put two cups of water in there, put the lid on it, and then in about 12 minutes, you have perfectly steamed veggies. And one other cool thing about these pans is they're actually stackable, but cookable as they're stacked. So let's say you got a camper, you got one of those mobile motor homes, you only got one or two small burners, or maybe you're somebody who has a huge family and you're using all your burners. You can put a big pot, then a little pot, then another little pot back on top, and actually cook if you really, really wanted to stack cooking. Is that pretty cool? I've never actually done that in almost 20 years of selling cut Cutco, but it's one of those cool features that everybody goes, whoa, that's cool. And the whole idea is that if you run out of space, you got everything there you need, one burner. And a lot of people will actually buy these little induction burners, so they are all induction. So this is the tank, this is the workhorse, this is the 11 and a half inch skillet, this is the one that I do my famous pineapple upside down cake in. You can actually do four good sized burgers in there, two or three good sized chicken breasts in there, two are good, two good sized steaks, four fillets. You could do those frozen bags of veggies, stir fries. And here's what's cool. These handles are up to 400 degrees in the oven. If something ever melts or burns, or sometimes like I've had a few customers say, hey, my kids had that flame too high. They moved the pan back. It started to burn that handle. You just text me, I send you a new handle, you're as good as gold, you throw the old handle away. So guys, this cookware, it's expensive, but it's priceless. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it. So here's the high dome. So the high dome is actually used for roasts, or if you wanted to throw some corn in there and stack them up, or if you just needed another quick pan to warm up some noodles, it's not the most ideal pan to do noodles because there's other better pans out there, but this little um, thing called the high dome is actually designed for doing your roast and then um, basically doing that stack cooking more properly. So if you wanna load that up, I've actually tested it. You can fit 16 to 18 full ears of corn in there and two cups of water, you got your corn roasted in that pot. It's so funny, even my family, I go and I see them cooking corn, they boil it in water, I'm like, you're gonna have to load that up with butter and salt because you just took away all the flavor. You do it my way, you do it the cut go way, you put a cup or two of water in there and then it steam cooks it, it's the best tasting corn you'll ever eat. Better than the grill, better than the fares. So now we have the 10 inch workhorse. That's gonna be the one that I use when I wanna sear and saute my steaks and get a nice stock and a nice uh, roux and a nice caramelization. So a lot of people go, Mike, why do I want both? Well, you want the coated ones for your pancakes, your quick fire, the use, uh, ease, and, ease of use. But then this is what the restaurants use. When they say pan seared, you know, you go to every restaurant, you peek in the kitchen, or maybe you're e eating a fine dining, you'll see the chefs. They have eight to 12 of these just right there. This is what they're cooking your steaks on. They're doing anything pan seared on here. Any of your sauces, your stocks are created on these coated pans. And because they have the five layers, it's truly a non-stick when you preheat it and warm it up and throw a little butter on there. There's always um, a few people that struggle when you first get it. I always tell people this, it takes about three times of practice to figure it out. And if you don't do it and try it and figure it out the way we teach you, well, it's kind of like that person that gives up on themselves. We can't 
We can't push a string. We can't force you to eat. But you can learn it, and you'll love it. And it's so funny. I have people call me and go, Mike, I'm so worried. I, I, I don't know if I can get the hang of it. And then they call me and say, that's the best freaking pans I've ever thought I would ever have. Here's your three, uh, three quart. That's the one that we use most of the time in our house because the kids eat a lot of noodles, a lot of rice, a lot of steamed veggies. Um, this is the one I'll load up with broccoli and carrots. You also get this one here. A lot of people go, why do I get a dog bowl? Nope. It's the only one that doesn't have a label or a brand on it, but it's about a $90 piece, so don't throw that away. But that's the one, if you want to do melted chocolates, that's going to be your double boiler. If you want to do some um, melted uh, cheese in there, do nacho night. And uh, we're kind of wrapping it up here with our final few pieces. And um, this one here is going to be the most expensive noodle strainer you've ever bought. So this thing here is the steamer unit. So when I do my veggies, I actually just throw a cup of water, one cup of water on there, and that's enough to prevent it from burning and sticking to the bottom, and it's enough steam to steam the veggies. So I very rarely use a steamer, but let's say you wanna do pot stickers. You wanna steam them in there, right? Let's say you wanna do just steaming your broccoli, steaming some salmon, some fish. You have your three quart, and then you have your steamer insert that'll go right in there. Or you got a really nice pan to rinse your veggies, to rinse your noodles and drain too. All right, so just to kind of wrap up here, we got a few last pieces left. And uh, hopefully this video is informational. But the really, the, the three simple things about Cutco is made in America, right? So you get the best of the best, right? When it comes to Cutco, you're going to get the forever warranty. And then you're gonna get the ease of use. When you get to learn something and you do it once, you never go back to your old ways. So here's your three, what we call our stainless steel, an eight, a 10, and a 12 inch. Those are your workhorses. Those are all your meat pans, your sauteing pans, your searing pans. You can do eggs on there. You just need to preheat the pan, throw a little butter down, give it a little base, and put your eggs right on top of that base or that oil. So I actually, I guess I messed up. That first one I showed you was actually the two quart. So look at this little cute guy. This one, and this I'm almost confident, this thing is a one quart. Look at how cute that little guy is. So that's your one quart there. That's gonna be like if you wanna just warm up something real small. And uh, obviously I'm still learning, you know, I still got 20, 30 years left to cook in here in this home and kitchen. But guys, there you have it. Just to kind of recap here, um, the Cutco products are always an investment, right? You buy once, try once, and uh, once you do it, you never have to look back. You have a throwing away party. You take all these boxes, you take all your old stuff, you donate it, give it to your kids, take your junky old stuff to your second home, lake house, cabin, camper. Then once you fall in love with this, then you buy a smaller set for those places next year or the year after. But guys, if you've been thinking about Cutco cookware, this is the time to do it. I'll have it all on display. You'll be some of the first people to see it at Iowa and Threshers. Threshers will get it nice and dusty for you. And then we'll be at Kansas. And then I'll be, you know, doing the sharpening events and such in St. Louis and then the mall. Then I'll be in Branson too in November. But guys, made in America. Some of the things that they have to use some globally sourced products. But here's the deal. If you know it's me selling it, Cutco selling it, and our guarantee in it, you can't, you can't regret it. You can't beat it, right? You also get the ease of use. Medium to low is all you need to know. When you need to clean it, you throw a little water down, you scrub it clean, it's like brand new. And it makes your food taste better. I always joke with people, it makes your food taste 10 times better because it does, right? When people come to my house, they go, Mike, I want you to cook for me. I love all the stuff you post. Like, I want to try those noodles. I want to try, you know, that risotto. I want to try the steaks. I want to try the veggies. And I win people over every time they come and visit. So guys, love to help you. Love to, you know, love to see you be a Cutco Cookware customer. And here's the deal. Pans are kind of funny, right? You got two pans here. You got a stainless steel pan here. You got a coated pan here. You got a cast iron pan here. You got a crock pot here. You got a gadget. I mean, we have a whole closet full of gadgets that we don't use. But when you're truly cooking and you're having a nice meal, you're going to have a fry pan here to get those onions nice and brown. You're going to have a, a little two-quart pot here for your rice. You're going to have another three-quart pot here for your noodles. You're going to have your skillet or your 12-inch fry pan for your steak, right? Or your chicken, right? So you're always going to have two or three or four pans going at once. And then don't get me started on the holidays, right? So having the full sets, the best way to do it. What's cool is they're all stackable. All the lids basically flip inside out. They, they sit flush. 
Uh, one or two might not be perfectly flush just because of the depth, but you flip these inside out. So if you're like, Mike, how am I gonna fit all those in my, uh, my cabinets? You can literally flip them all inside out and every single one of them will stack perfectly so you'll never have to worry about storage space. And that's another huge, huge selling point is you can literally fit all of these into one little small little cupboard underneath your, um, your cabinet. So guys, there you have it. The tower, this is probably about a $5,000 tower right there. But guys, thanks so much. Comment, reach out, love to help. Come and see me. And even if you're like, Mike, I probably don't need the pans, but tell me about them. Tell me the prices. Um, I'd love to help out. Don't forget, Mike Dow does Easy Pen. Yeah, I always do. Honestly, everybody who buys the pans, because we're talking about two to $7,000, they do the Easy Pay because that's the way to do it. And then here's one other thing that comes with the cookware. It's called the food press, or I call it the bacon press. That thing right there, you can use when the bacon curls up or for your pineapple upside down cake to smash the brown sugar, to do smash burgers, tenderize. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully they informed you a little bit. And um, that's one beautiful tower there. Take care. Have a nice day. Happy cooking, everybody. God bless.